everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to show you how to varnish an oil painting. And I'm going to use the traditional uh, Damar varnish, which has been in use for centuries, uh, rather than one of the modern synthetics, because uh, that's just what I like to use. Um, so that's what this is going to be about today. So I've got this oil painting here that's been drying now for a couple of months. So it's ready to be varnished. And I just buy my varnish pre-made. This happens to be a bottle I got from uh, Mimery. Uh, but lots of different art supply manufacturers make this. You can get it from Windsor Newton. You can get it, I think, from Grumbacher. Um, so just go online and search for uh, Damar Varnish. And uh, it just comes in a bottle like this. Now what I'm going to do is show you how uh, I varnish, which is the traditional way to do it. And... First rule, you want to make sure you varnish on a low, uh, on a day that's got low humidity, it's not raining, uh, it's nice and sunny and dry and warm, um, or at least low humidity, because sometimes if the air is real humid, it can cause, cause your varnish to turn cloudy. So just make sure it's not raining. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is I always take a little bit of the varnish from the bottle and I put it in a wide mouth jar. So you can see I've got some in a jar like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put this jar in a hot water bath for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now you don't want wa the water too deep, but you want to warm the varnish up. Um, so, uh, so run the hot water from your faucet uh, as hot as it'll come out uh, in a bowl, you know, that will just cover this. And then we're going to soak this jar in hot water uh, for about uh, 10 minutes, like I said, to warm the varnish up. So then I'll show you once we do that, um, how to proceed to the next step. So now that this uh, has been soaking in the uh, warm water bath for about 10 minutes, uh, I've just dried off the bottom. And the thing about varnishing with Damar is you want to do it in several uh, thin layers rather than like one big thick layer. So um, now you might be able to hear in the background, this is one thing I do want to uh, make very clear. Uh, traditional Damar varnish contains genuine turpentine, and it has to be that way because the Damar crystals don't dissolve in uh, the odorless mineral spirits. So whenever you buy this, it's going to have real turpentine in it. So make sure you use it in a very well vented, ventilated area. As you can hear, I've probably got my, uh, you probably hear I've got in the background, I've got my um, air filter and studio ventilator going. So just Always be careful to use this in an area that's really well ventilated when you're doing this. And uh, one tip I'll give you uh, is rather than use a regular brush, I use these cheap foam brushes to varnish. Um, because trying to clean the varnish out of a brush with washing it and then rinsing it, it's, it's really a pain in the neck. Um, so I just use these and I'll varnish you know several paintings at once and then just throw that in the garbage and you don't have to worry about cleaning your brush. So what you're going to do is once your varnish is warmed up a little, you're just going to dip the brush in, tip of the brush in, and just wipe off the excess on the rim of the jar. And then you're just going to apply it to the painting in long strokes like this, making sure to spread it real evenly, as evenly as you can get it. And you can go over the painting, you know, over your varnish strokes, um, for a little bit, just to make sure everything's evened out. 
Uh, but don't keep doing this. Do it once and get it spread evenly and then leave it alone. You don't want to keep brushing it and brushing it and brushing it and brushing it because if you do that, um, you could cause it to get foggy and bloom. Um, so another tip I'll, I'll give you too is uh, whatever way your painting is oriented, um, the way it's going to hang on the wall, uh, do the brush strokes, the varnish strokes, so they're up and down vertical. Don't go side to side because that will help uh, diminish the glare when the painting's hanging on a wall. Uh, and another tip you can do for the jar, because um, sometimes when you get varnish on the rim of the jar, this can the lid can get stuck. Uh, before you put varnish in the jar, just put a little Vaseline around the edges of the jar, and that'll keep the lid from sticking. Um, so now that this has got one even coat on this, I'm going to let it set up for a few minutes. Uh, and then you want to stand it up vertical to dry completely. Uh, and if you want to put a second coat on, or just wait about a half an hour or 45 minutes uh, for the uh, varnish to kind of set up completely, and then you could go over it again with a second coat. Um, so, and usually two or three coats is all you'll need, uh, just to kind of even out the surface and and get this um, varnish on, you know, looking the way. And the reason you varnish, of course, is to not only protect the oil painting itself from dirt and grime because the varnish can be removed so you want the dirt to get into the varnish not the painting itself uh, and secondly it restores your painting to the really um, to the way it looked when it was wet so the colors are much deeper and the darks are darker and uh, the painting just looks better when it's been varnished so that's basically how you do oil painting varnishing with Damar um, so I hope that this helped you and that uh, it gives you uh, an easier time varnishing your own paintings. So I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and click on that subscribe button so you won't miss the next video. And why not spread the joy? Be sure to share my videos on your favorite social media. Don't forget to head on over to my website, walcottfineart.com where you can see my art, read my blog, or when you join my newsletter list, you can win free art. Every month, I'll choose a lucky winner for my email list, and that person will receive a mini original oil painting. There's a chance to win every month, so be sure to sign up today so you don't miss out. Plus, you'll get my fun newsletter. See you next time!